Hi everyone, in this episode of How Do You Do That, I want to introduce you to a great app that I've been using recently in conjunction with Resolve, and that is the Google Drive File Stream app. This is a bit of software that you can actually download off the internet and install in conjunction with your existing Google Drive, and you can upload your media to this and this will automatically synchronize with the file stream app that you have in your computer and then what is really great about this is that resolve will then see it as another drive so as you can see here on this side we've got the google drive that's been um, installed and here is my drive and here is the contents of it and then all i have to do then is i can then come over here and play my media and there we have it okay and I can see all the contents and what is really neat about this is that if you're working with other colleagues then you can share the media with them by using the streaming app with this so this way he can work on the media you can work on the media at the same time and it makes for a very useful way of exchanging data back and forth now this app is really not designed for high resolution media so I generally do it with when I'm editing with proxies and things like this then I'm going to use this app for it and this is a real good way of doing it so how do you get the app okay so what we do here is we come over to uh, Safari and this is um, so it's at www.google.com slash drive slash download and here you can see you've got the backup and sync app and you have the drive file stream app and so what you do here is you click on learn more and then what you want to do here is you can then come over here and uh, select that you want the Google Drive file stream and you can either get it for Windows or for Mac and so for example for Mac you just click on download and off you go and it's the same situation for Windows and then once I uh, go through and download that then on your desktop you will then see a Google Drive uh, icon that sits below your existing drives and then you can actually um, drag media to this and then afterwards it will sit in this area and then automatically synchronize with your Google Drive on the internet and then the other person who has the same app and the same access then he can actually see the media as well. Okay so for more tips and tricks like this don't forget to have a look at the other videos on our YouTube channel and for more information about training services have a look at the comments below. Thanks and have a great day.